Hi, this is the Ask Steve Show, and I'm Steve, and today we're going to show you how to load a ribbon in the uh, Fargo DTC 4000 card printer. And uh, before we get started on that, um, I want to let you know we're also going to have our bad photo ID of the day, as we always do on these segments. And we're going to, before we get started, I'm going to talk about this Fargo DTC 4000. It can be either single or dual-sided printer, you decide. 100 cards in, 100 cards out on the card hoppers. You have an optional uh, mag encoder you can get in there. You can have optional ethernet connection, optional contact smart card, or you can get a dual hopper optional on this where you can have two different card stocks feeding into it. It'll select the one that you choose. Um, this does not have the option of a, of a lamination station. That's on the DTC 4500, which we'll talk about in our next, one of our next segments. Um, it does come standard with USB as the connection, has a two-year two warranty, and you can get a one-year loaner on this printer. And you can also change the way the cards come in and go out. Instead of having it on the side, both opposite sides, you can have them mounted both on the front. And we can help you make that change. And Fargo has done another great thing with this. It's an Energy Star approved product, which means it meets the EPA and DOE um, requirements for saving energy. Um, and using energy efficiently as a product. So good job Fargo. And as I said, we're gonna talk about loading the ribbon into this printer and to help us do that is Douglas from our tech department who's gonna come in and show us how you do it. Thanks, Steve. Thanks Douglas. So you'll get it in your box um, and it's just like every other ribbon. Um, so when you open up your box, it's obviously gonna come in its plastic wrapper. Um, you can dispose of the cardboard box um, and the plastic that it's wrapped in. Um, all you need to do is really just take out the plastic and inside you're gonna have, it's gonna look blue at first with a cleaning roller. Um, the front of the back of it is gonna have a kind of like a blue bar plastic piece um, that helps it from not rolling when it's in the, in the box. So the first thing that you're going to obviously do is you're going to take this off and that can just go right in the trash. Next thing you're going to want to do is there's a little arrow on the cleaning roller on top of the cartridge. Um, what you're going to do is just pull on that arrow and a piece of paper is going to come off of the cleaning roller. You can feel that it's really sticky. Next is you can, if you want to, you can spin it a little bit until you get past the blue part and you get past the black bar. Um, when you're done with that, you're gonna see the yellow on the ribbon. You're gonna just, all you gotta do is pull this down and right in here, orange is on the left, I mean on the right, blue, I mean black is on the left. So all you're gonna really do is just slide it in there going to think and try to calibrate the ribbon as you do this um, and one is it once it's done thinking you're ready to go what does the sticky roller that you talked about do it cleans the cards when it comes before through. they get printed yes okay gives you the best print quality it sure does all right thanks Douglas mm -hmm. and as I mentioned earlier we're gonna have the bad photo idea of the day and here it is and while you're looking at that if you have any questions submit them to us on our Facebook part of our website and our website address is idedge.com and our phone number is 800-798-3343.